welcome children in this video i will be dealing with the topic drug and alcohol abuse and uh, in this video i'll be presenting before you all the presentation put forward by group 6 annie and team so with their presentation i'm going to give my running commentary so let's start drug and alcohol abuse so let's analyze first what is drug or alcohol abuse drug and alcohol when taken for the purpose other than medicinal or taken in amounts that disturbs the physical physiological and psychological functions it is called drug abuse or alcohol abuse there are five categories of drugs we can look into each category to and analyze the source the effects examples and the mode of its administration the first category of drugs are the opioids o p i o i d s the source of opioids are the latex of poppy the scientific name of poppy is papaver somniferum it is a scientific name so the genus should start with a capital letter p should start with a capital letter effects it serves as a depressant it slows down the body functions and the example is heroin it is commonly called smack and chemically called diacetyl morphine why it is called diacetyl morphine it is formed by the acetylation of morphine it's a white powder which is odorless but bitter it is administered by way of snorting uh, or by injection the second category of drugs are the cannabinoids the source is cannabis sativa again this is a scientific name the genus starts with a capital letter and the species starts with a small letter the effects it affects the cardiovascular system example is marijuana hashish charas and ganja this is administered by inhalation as well as by oral ingestion the third category it includes the coca alkaloids or cocaine the source is the coca plant scientific name erythroxylum coca effects it stimulates the central nervous system producing a sense of euphoria what is euphoria uh, it is a sense of well being extreme happiness extreme confidence and well being that is called euphoria and increased energy excess dosage will cause hallucination and what is hallucination is such persons will feel they'll sense many things that is all their sense organs will be working without anything in reality they feel the presence of a person in front of them they see they hear they smell they taste and even touch things which are not actually existing outside their mind and this will result or this will cause make them feel nervous paranoid and frightened and examples are cocaine coke or crack the fourth category category are the hallucinogens the source of this is atropa belladonna and datura effects it is used as medicines for mental patients for treating depression and insomnia that is sleeplessness it is also used as sedatives for patients undergoing surgery examples are barbiturates amphetamines lsds and morphines so this category of drugs are mainly used for medicative purpose but it becomes psychotropic when we use it for purpose other than medicinal and this category of drugs are taken by injection now we have the fifth category the common nicotine the source is the tobacco and we know which part of the tobacco plant is used for making cigarettes the tobacco leaves it affects the adrenal glands which produces adrenaline smoking increases the risk of lung cancer and chewing increases the risk of oral cavity cancer so this can be administered by two ways either by smoking or by chewing if it is uh, being smoked 
it affects our lungs it causes lung cancer and if it's chewed it causes throat cancer or the cancer of, of the oral cavity not only that by smoking it increases the carbon monoxide content in our blood and we know carbon monoxide is a very toxic gas and because of the presence of carbon monoxide heme bound oxygen decreases that is the hemoglobin bound to oxygen decreases as a result the person will show deficiency of oxygen in the body example tobacco which is available in the form of cigarettes even it is available as chewables adolescents and drug alcohol abuse so why do we say with alcohol and drug abuse is associated with adolescence so first let's define what is an adolescence adolescence the period that links between childhood and adulthood in one's life the age is between 12 to 18 years and is usually considered as the adolescence age causes of drug and alcohol abuse especially among adolescents is curiosity need for adventure excitement and experimentation constitute the common cause which motivates youngsters towards drug and alcohol use that's why we see drug addiction and alcohol addiction among youngsters because of this feel of curiosity experimentation adventure excitement etc second cause now this cause is off late the stress aspirations from parents to on the children to excel in the examinations play a significant role in persuading youngsters to try alcohol and drugs it's a way of escapism so now this is the trend parents are giving a lot of pressure on the children having a lot of aspiration ambitions for the child and forcing them to do well in the exams and therefore the child resort to such Uh, substances to escape the situations at home another common reason among youngsters to resort to these substances is the feeling of chill or cool this this perception the perception among the youth that it is cool or progressive to smoke use drugs or alcohol is also in a way a major cause of the youth to resort to such habits even to some extent uh this perception is encouraged through television newspaper movies internet etc so by seeing all these children think okay they are full fledged adults it's time to try all this so to this perception is very very wrong it's cool or chill to resort to these substances and the fourth category is very miserable unstable and supportive family structures and peer pressure split family or single parent of families where the parents are not united or not supportive to the child in that case they go for all this also peer pressure and due peer pressure also force children to such substances addiction and dependence what is addiction addiction is the attachment to the psychological effects of any substance for example consumption of drugs and alcohol gives a temporary feeling of euphoria it will be extreme happiness that feeling people get attached to this sense of euphoria and start consuming drugs and alcohol even when it is not required if a person is addicted to these substances like drugs or alcohol he or she should gradually give up on these habits as sudden discontinuation can lead to withdrawal syndrome so even if the ch- if the uh, youngster or the person is taken to a rehabilitation center or a deactivation center they will not abruptly stop the usage of drugs or alcohol they give dosages but they taper the dose so here what is important is we cannot abruptly stop the usage or discontinue the usage of drugs once caught for usage of drugs and alcohol it's better not to abruptly wean him from drugs or alcohol slowly in small doses it should be given this is what is done in the deactivation center or else what will happen the uh, the victim will suffer from vid- uh, withdrawal syndrome you can see what is withdrawal syndrome the person suffers from extreme anxiety diarrhea tightness in the chest sweating difficulty in breathing shivering and becomes very fidgety so care should be taken in handling such victims 
which gone beyond the control of the parents and friends it should be dealt by a psychiatrist at the deactivation center or rehab center warning signs so when you observe some warning signs among your peer it is a an alarm for you to inform the parents or the teacher or a confidant drop in academic so now we can analyze some of the warning signs drop in academic performance unexplained absence from school or college lack of interest in personal hygiene withdrawal isolation depression fatigue aggressiveness and rebellious behavior deteriorating relationship with family and friends so very outstanding we see those children who resort easily to vandalism and violence that and all is developed because they are into these drugs they get an extra confidence and energy some more warning signals are there to this list loss of interest in hobbies change in sleeping and eating habits and fluctuation in weight and appetite etc which is unexplainable so weight loss and appetite which is unexplainable effects of alcohol and drug abuse first we will deal with the harmful effects of drug and alcohol abuse the first and foremost harm of drug abuse is that the most common method of administering drugs is intravenously that is through injections and these uh, drug addicts they share the same needles it's not that they're using disposable needles or they're sterilizing the needles they have no time for that they'll be passing the needles so the chance of them to contract dangerous diseases like aids and hepatitis b it is transferred from one person to another by the sharing of needles and syringes so they are more prone to such diseases the second the chronic use of drug and alcohol can damage the nervous system so if they become chronic users it will damage the nervous system and also results in liver cirrhosis this is very very fatal it can lead to death the use of drugs and alcohol during pregnancy is also very dangerous it adversely affects the fetus the child becomes deformed you must have seen children or beggars on the road with flippers the hands abruptly not amputated hands just cut hands that is they are born deformed we need to result to mental retardation now we can see some side effects in both the genders first we'll analyze the side effects in females the females who resort to steroids anabolic steroids what and all features they develop masculation that is features a lot of features masculine features they develop increase aggressiveness mood swings depression abnormal menstrual cycles excessive hair growth on the face and body enlargement of clitoris and deepening of voice and now the side effects in males which are parallel to females acne on the face increased aggressiveness mood swings depression reduction in the size of the testicles decreased sperm production potential for kidney and liver dysfunctions breast enlargement premature baldness enlargement of the prostate glands and in both genders common features severe facial and body acne premature closure of the growth centers of the long bones which may result in stunted growth now here an age old adage stands true prevention is better than cure so now let's look into some preventive measures also some control measures the first measure counseling and education are one of the best ways of dealing with cases of alcohol and drug abuse avoidance of peer pressure could help in bringing down these habits to a large extent then help from family and friends could do a lot of damage control as people are closer to family and friends hence talking to our loved ones help in coming up with such situations so you are always open up to a confidant of yours your family member or your friend and when it goes beyond your level that is you have reported to the teacher counselor when it goes beyond if it's a person is a chronic user then we have to take him to the higher level a psychiatrist where he is put into a rehabilitation center or deactivation 
center so there are many such rehabilitation centers or deactivation centers launched to help alcohol and drug abuse patients from exerting control over the impulse to use drugs even when these are having negative consequences so in this context i say good parenting plays a very important role parenting combined with high degree of nurturance and consistent discipline will never uh, make the child to fall in such uh, traps and also children uh, be very assertive to give a no to peer pressure the no should be an assertive no not a pleasing no so you will not easily be a prone or victim to such uh, uh, substances and once you try or take drugs once as a trial of experimentation or curiosity or for adventure it becomes a forerunner of addiction and once you become addicted you are pulled into a vicious circle and you are controlled by someone of another level so better don't give a try even for the first time remember bear in mind it becomes a forerunner to addiction i hope you have understood this topic and once again i thank the group that helped me in presenting this video it was purely done by annie and team uh, 2021 batch thank you anna annie christina ekna and asnandana